It's National Liberation Day here in South Korea. It's the day the country celebrates Korea's independence from Japanese colonial rule in 1945. And marking the 78th anniversary of that day, President Yoon Song Yeol said South Korea and Japan are now partners, sharing same values and interests. He also called attention to what he labeled anti state forces threatening society. Our Kim Do Yan has the details. On the day to celebrate Korea's independence from Japanese colonial rule, President Yoon Song Yeol chose to look toward the future when it comes to relations with Japan rather than focusing on the past. On Tuesday was his second Liberation Day speech, and during the last one, he labeled Japan a neighbor, as he was still looking for a breakthrough in improving the bilateral ties. He started calling Japan a partner during this year's March 1st Independence Movement Day address. Yoon's speech also comes ahead of the trilateral summit between Seoul, Washington, and Tokyo later this week. He also attributed South Korea's success since independence to the ROK-US alliance's defense of democracy, contrasting it with North Korea, which he says is unable to escape from horrendous poverty and deprivation. This, he says, is a clear difference between the two sides that took different paths since independence on the peninsula, but South Korea is still exposed to dangers. 공산 전체주의를 맹종하며 조작 선동으로 여론을 왜곡하고 사회를 교란하는 반국가 세력들이 여전히 활개치고 있습니다. Also, he re-emphasized that the independence movement was not just to regain sovereignty but to establish freedom and democracy, and is thus a universal and just movement for humanity. The main ceremony for the nation's 78th anniversary of independence took place at Iwa Women's University, a university stemming from a women's school that produced many female independence activists during the colonial era. At the ceremony, UN awarded veterans and surviving family members of the Liberation Army in front of 2,000 attendees, including politicians, foreign diplomats, and invited citizens. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.